I am sick and tired of paying for Evernote. In fact, I'm sick and tired of paying for all software. We are here today going to build an Evernote clone using AI, no coding necessary, no technical skills necessary. By the end of this video, you'll have your own Evernote that you don't have to pay for anymore, will be completely built by yourself. You won't write a single line of code and you'll be really proud of it. You'll have your own app that you built. Here's the coolest part. It's gonna be AI powered. We're gonna connect it to chat GPT so you can summarize your notes and do a whole bunch of other cool AI stuff. Here's the plan. I'm gonna build the UI up using V0 and then I'm gonna build the functionality out using cursor. Both are no code AI tools. So here I am in V0. This is just v0.dev, completely free. I put in this prompt to build out the UI. I want to build an Evernote type note-taking app. On the left-hand side will be a sidebar that has a list of tags. In the middle area will be a list of notes. The notes will be displayed as cards. The cards show a preview of the notes and show the tags. When you click on a note, an editor pops up in the model that makes up most of the, takes up most of the screen. This is where you can edit the note. I'm just telling the AI exactly what I want to build. It's going to build me out the UI, no coding at all. We hit end on this and this is the UI it spits out. I didn't do anything. It just spits this out for me. Now we can start building out the functionality. This is really sick. You have your tags, you have your notes. I can click edit. I can say this is a new note. I can click save. Boom, I have a new note. How sick is that? Now let's build the functionality out in Cursor. By the way, I highly recommend you do this all along with me. Download Cursor, go on v0.dev. All the links are down below. Follow along with me. Build with me. You'll have your own app. Let's go. This is Cursor. This is the most powerful AI tool I've ever used. You can build apps just with AI prompts. No coding at all. Link down below if you want to download. I'm opening up a new folder to put the app in. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit control tilde to open up the terminal. Follow along with me here. I'm going to install Next.js, which is the technology that's going to power our app. I'm going to do bun create next dash app space period. Hit enter. Then you're going to do the default options for each option they give you. That's going to build out the next app. Now your tech's good to go. What we're going to do in a second is actually install the UI component we just built. From here, we go back into V0. We're gonna grab our UI. We're gonna hit this button up here, add to code base. We're gonna hit the copy button right there. We're gonna go back into cursor. Boom, we're back into cursor. We come into here. We paste that command in. We hit enter. That bad boy is gonna get installed very, very easily. We haven't run any code so far. We hit yes in the default stuff for all that. Just like that, that's installed. Now all we need to do is go and make sure it's implemented into our app. Follow along closer. It's easy, but follow along. I go into source, app, page. We're in here. See this return statement? This is everything that's gonna be displayed on your screen. Let's get rid of it all. We don't want any of this default stuff. I go down here, I delete all that. Now we just have this normal return statement. Let's do this. We enter a fragment, which is just these little arrow keys right there. Boom, do that. Now we're gonna put in our new component that is called note app component. So we're gonna do this. We have our fragment. We do another one, note app component it auto fills for us look at that just like that it was all auto filled make sure what you have matches up to what i have here also make sure that the name of the component you put in there matches what you have in the new component you just installed so it'd be export function and that's the name of your component right there that needs to match up to this if you do that you're good to go so now let's run the app here we go i want to see what this app looks like go into your terminal type in npm run dev hit command s or control s to save it so you're good to go then you hit npm run dev you hit enter it's going to run it for us let's see what this bad boy looks like i click on the address let's pull it open here oh, come on baby come on boom there it is. Look how beautiful that is. Look at it. Look how beautiful that is. You got your notes. You got your tags. It looks exactly. You have your own app. Just like, listen, we're going to do a lot more. We're going to add a whole bunch more functionalities. This is going to be super sick. But you up to this point have built your own note taking app. That's pretty sick. But let's add a ton of stuff to this. First, I'm looking at this. We need to add an add note function. Right? There's no way to add a new note. Let's add that. I'm going to show you how to build this with AI very, very easily. And come back in here. Hit command shift I to open up your composer. Let's do this on the screen so I can add a new one. Very easy, plain English. I need to add a new note. Give me a new note. We're not writing code. This is very simple. I'm just doing it in plain English. I hit enter. It's going to start writing the code. Look at that. Boom, boom, boom. All the code coming out for us. I didn't need to do anything special here. It writes the code. 
Uh, we can look to add a new add new button. We'll need to modify the note component. Here's how we update the note. It writes the code, it tells us what it's gonna do. I hit accept. Before I show you this next piece of functionality, if you've learned anything so far, make sure to hit subscribe, turn on notifications, hit the like button, and then let me know in the replies what other apps you're paying for currently. I'm gonna show you how to build them. All these videos are based on user feedback, so let me know what other apps you're paying for. I'm gonna build them out in the next video so you don't have to pay for them anymore. I wanna save you a little bit of money. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at that, add new note. Look at that beautiful, that's a good looking button. I click it. New note, we can go in, edit it. Wow, this is a new note. Wow, subscribe to Alex. Unbelievable, hit save, there it is. It's saved. We're making our own notes, this is sick. Let's do some cool things here. I wanna be able to make this like a rich text editor. I wanna get a whole bunch of options here. Let's do this, let's make this rich. I wanna be able to do bold, italic, styling, colors, things like that. We wanna make our notes pretty. Let's go back in here. We're back into cursor. Let's go back into the composer. I want to make the text editor in the notes a rich text editor so I can do bold and styling. One sentence, I'm hitting enter. It's gonna implement it for me. All right, to implement a rich text editor for your notes, we can use the React Quill library. Okay, so it's telling us to, imp it's telling us to install this new library. We're gonna do that. It's writing all the code for us. Look at all this code. This would take hours if I was a developer. The AI's like, yeah, I got this for you, bro. I hate accept all, boom. Let's, in let's install this new library. So I copy it from the composer. I paste it into the terminal. I hit enter. It installs it for me. I just got little AI buddies doing everything for me over here. That's installed. Pop open the note taking app to see if it's a rich text editor now. I'm gonna add a new note. Let's edit that. Oh, boom, look at that, new note. Hit the like button. Let's go in here, let's see if we can make some pretty things. This is a new note. Let's see, can I bold it? Boom, I can italicize it, I can underline it, I can strike it through, I can do bullet points, I can add images. This is beautiful. Now let's just make this text area a little bit bigger. I wanna make this a little bit bigger so I can see multiple lines. A little error handling for you guys here. Let's do this. I go back into the composer, just again, just like it's English, let's go in here. I want to make it so there is more area seen in the rich text editor. At the moment, I can only see one line in the editor. Enter, it's gonna fix that for us. You need things fixed, you need styling changed. You just go in here, you let it know what it's doing. It fixes it for you. The lines of code are being written. It's going in, I accept all. We go back into our app, I hit edit, boom. Now we got the whole line. Turn on notifications. Look at this, boom. Let's see here, we can, oh, we can number it, we can indent it, we can add images. Let's see, let's see what happens when we add an image. It's my last video, no code Call of Duty if you wanna check that. Ooh, image in there, that's looking beautiful. I hit save, oh, you can see the image. Gorgeous, why would I ever pay for Evernote again? Let's add a couple more features. I wanna have the ability to search my notes. I wanna be able to go in here, search, and find the notes I want. So let's do this. Let's go back into our composer. So this is the prompt I'm putting in. I wanna have the ability to search my notes. Give me a search bar at the top so I can type in and dynamically find my relevant notes. I want like a really good search bar. I don't want an average search bar. I want a really good search bar. Here we go. It's building out all the code for me, too easy. I don't even know what any of this means. It's just building it out. I hit accept all. Thank you, AI. Thank you, AI, for doing this all for me. I go back in. We have a search bar. Let's create a couple notes. Reply to the video. Give me feedback. We hit save. So we got three notes here. Let's search for them. Let's say feedback. Oh, look at that. It's dynamically filtering the notes. Feedback. Something like that take hours for a developer to build. I just did that, what's that, under a minute? Unbelievable. Why would I pay for a note-taking app ever again? Why would I pay? I got tags. I could edit things. I can make them look pretty. I can search. Why would anyone pay for a note-taking app again? I did this in like under 10 minutes. I built an entire note-taking app. All right, let's add the coolest feature yet. I want to be able to hit a button and then AI summarizes every note I've taken. We're going to do this with the chat GPT API. It's going to be super cool. Follow along here. There's no one else on YouTube doing this. You're going to see something really, really cool here. So watch this. So let's go back into the AI. Let's implement the chat GPT API. Basically what the chat GPT API allows me to do is through our app, 
send prompts to chat GPT and it sends information back. So I can send to chat GPT, here's all my notes, give me a summary and it sends back a summary. So let's do this. So we're gonna go to the composer again and we're gonna have it implement the chat GPT API. So I'm gonna tell the composer, I wanna connect my app to the chat GPT API. I want it so I have a button that says summarize notes and it sends back a summary of all my notes from the API, enter. Here we go, come on AI. Build something cool for us here. Here we go. All right, to add a summarized notes feature using the ChatGPT API, we'll need to make a few changes to your note, okay? So it's gonna add the button. It's gonna create the API call. We're just gonna need to install OpenAI, which we'll do. Let's hit accept all. Now what we're, I'm gonna show you how to do is how to get your ChatGPT API information. So follow along closely here. We need our API key. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it from the developer dashboard. Go to platform.openai.com. Sign up through there if you haven't already. Then what we're gonna do is go to dashboard, API keys. From here, you're gonna click create new secret key. I'm gonna call it Evernote AI clone, create the secret key. This is going to give you a secret key, just copy that. And then you go back in here, we're gonna create a new file called .env. We're gonna put in this new command here in .env and now we just need to put in our API key. So get that copied API key and put it right here and paste it. Now just make sure to install OpenAI with that command right there in the terminal. Boom, hit enter. We're getting an error on these two variables up here. So let's just go into the composer and fix that. I'm getting an error and summarize on the configuration in OpenAI imports. So we hit enter on that. It should fix that for us. Boom, just like that, it's fixed. I hit accept. Let's go back into our app. Let's see if we got cool AI functionality here. Let's summarize these notes. Holy crap, look at that. Wow. Summary. The, the first note is a welcome message for a new note taking out. The second note contains a list of project ideas. All right, let's add a couple of notes and test this out. What you need to do. Let's go in here. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. Like. Leave a reply. We hit save. Let's do another one. Add a new note. What I want to eat for dinner, I want to eat steak, creamed spinach, chocolate, lava, cake. All right, let's see what this does. Let's summarize these notes now. This is how sick is this? So we're going to hit summarize. No, okay, here we go. Uh, instructions on what to do, subscribe, turn notifications, likely reply, and then the list of dinner options. I don't even think Evernote does that. We just built a product better than Evernote for free by ourselves without writing a line of code. Holy hell, that's amazing. You can take these skills from here and build out literally anything you want, anything. If you learned anything, make sure to subscribe, make sure to turn on notifications, hit the like button, and let me know down below what other apps you're paying for. I wanna build them out for you. See you in the next video.